Hi everybody, my name is Ali. I am the co-CEO at Reinvented Magazine and today I'm going to be talking about Intro to Summer Research Program. I have a, an associate's degree in biology and I have a bachelor's in multidisciplinary studies with concentrations in neuroscience, psychology, and education. And while I was working on my associate's degree, I had the opportunity to participate in a summer research program studying neuroscience. So what are research programs? I've heard a couple of different acronyms for them. I've heard UREs and REUs, um, but they are summer research programs for STEM college students and they're paid internships. So you can get between three to $6,000. Um, they're typically 10 to 12 weeks long. It depends on the program. They are available at most uh, four-year universities and some international, but I really want to highlight that a lot of them encourage STEM students that are not pursuing a medical degree. Um, so these are students who want to go to graduate school or even uh, pursue a PhD. You are expected to work about 40 hours a week throughout the summer, and at the end of the program, you typically either present a research poster in a symposium or a research paper that you work on. So what does the application process look like? Typically, it's an online application with about three to five essay questions. For the program that I did, I had to have two letters of recommendation and sometimes there's an interview process. I didn't have to go through that, but it's just a general um, interview to try to understand your interests, what you wanna do with your career, STEM career and stuff like that. Um, and then of course they do run your GPA and your transcripts. And of course they will ask for a resume or a CV um, to get a background on your employment history. In order to be successful in getting into a program, I really wanted to highlight that when you're working on your, your application, please take your time, put some thought into your essay questions, um, we, you really can tell a difference um, between students who just did it last minute and those who really put some thought into it. Um, when you're looking for professors to have a letter of recommendation from, uh, make sure they are a STEM professor, um, a professor that can vouch for your work ethic, and you want to have a professor that you did well in their class. Um, like a B or above, I would definitely recommend asking from them. And with that being said, you want to give them ample time to write a letter of recommendation. Um, a lot of times when students do apply and they'll only have, you know, you have three letters of recommendation, but you want to ask a couple different professors because more than likely there is going to be students who ask uh, professors for a letter of recommendation and you won't be the only one and you want to give them a bunch of time, at least one to two months at the bare minimum. Most programs um, typically want a 3.0 GPA or above, um, but I really want to encourage students that if you're right on that line between like 2.8 and 2.9, maybe even like 2.7, really try, I would still recommend applying because most programs will take a holistic review of your application. So if you have really strong letters of recommendation and you have really great essays, you could still be selected to participate. So where can you find opportunities? Um, you can look at the NSF website. They have uh, pages and pages of summer programs that offered at universities. Um, the NIH website also has the same thing. It's like a big database of all the funding opportunities um, community colleges, if you're a community college student, um, grants are given to them to participate in summer programs. A lot of the time it's a collaborative effort between the community college and your local for your university. So that's a great opportunity. That's personally what I did and I absolutely loved it. Um, and surprisingly, uh, social media. So like on Twitter, um, I actually found out about a NASA program that I participated in, in right before I graduated. And I found out on Twitter and I just applied and I got in and it was a great experience. Um, most big company websites, like especially NASA, if you're interested in the engineering realm, um, they have a lot of really great opportunities. Some summer, some uh, like semester based, so spring or fall semester. 
And then government websites like the usajobs.gov, they have a lot of summer um, research opportunities as well. I can't vouch for the big company websites about a summer stipend or a pay, but I know through the university programs, a lot of them have a lump sum stipend, so for, for pay. So why do a research program? Well, you have an incredible networking opportunity. Uh, you can meet all sorts of STEM faculty. And if you wanna go to graduate school, this is a great way to figure out what STEM topics you're interested in. Uh, you develop all kinds of science technical skills. So like for myself, I learned how to use an autoclave um, and how to use a centrifuge, stuff like that that I hadn't learned in my classes yet. And in some cases, you may not even learn how to use those things. Um, you can use your, your summer research program to figure out if you actually like your topic or major. Some people get into the program thinking they love biology and then end it hating biology and want to transfer to something else. So it's a really good way to figure out if that's something that you want to do for the rest of your life. And just kind of piggybacking on that, if you want to go to graduate school or not. Um, a lot of times students go into the research program and they figure out that they hate research. So it may be a way that they want to explore industry. So like working at NASA or Lockheed Martin or another big company like that. So my big takeaway point would be that if you're not sure if you're in the right STEM field or if you want to consider it, try it out in summer research program and you may surprise yourself. So before we wrap up the video, I really want to talk about my summer research experience. Um, I got into a program while I was working on my associate's degree um, while attending the Palo Alto Community College. They had received a grant um, called the SEMA LSAT program that was in collaboration with UTSA, which is a four-year university, to place STEM students into research labs for the summer. So I applied in the spring and I found out in May that I got accepted and I got into my top choice lab, which was a neuroscience lab. The neuroscience lab that I was put into my PI or head of the lab, um, his, his research was focused on memory and aging. And so that first week, of research was really just reading and attending workshops about memory and traumatic brain injuries and stuff like that. But I was really fortunate that I actually got to come up with my own project for the summer and that was studying um, the effect of methylene blue on associative learning in C. elegans. I learned so much. I learned how to keep a colony of C. elegans alive, which is a culture of microorganisms, how to feed them. I learned how to make solutions. Um, I learned how to use an autoclave and how to balance a centrifuge and some typical um, tasks that you may not have that experience attending just STEM classes or a typical STEM lab. So I was really fortunate that I got to learn all those technical skills, um, especially before I transferred into my four-year university too. Not only did I just learn those technical skills, but I also learned how to write and document in a scientific notebook and document all the different procedures and stuff like that. But not only were we just doing research, our cohort, we had the ability to attend workshops with other STEM faculty and lectures about their topics in other labs. So for example, I was in a biology lab, but I got to attend a workshop by a bio a uh, biomedical engineer professor and he was talking about how they are regrowing bones and stuff like that from stem cells and it was just absolutely incredible to be have all that kind of exposure that I never thought I would have the opportunity to learn about. It was an absolutely incredible learning experience but it didn't go without some struggles. Um, my experiment in particular it had a four hour time frame and there were a couple nights where I had to stay up you know really really late you know wee hours into the night like 3 a.m just to uh, observe my experiment and my results and there were a couple times towards the end that I actually had to redo my experiment a couple of times because it kept failing and that's one of the tribulations that they don't really talk about is how to deal with that failure of your experiment which isn't a bad thing but it's very very frustrating when we think of research and experiments and everything's going to be successful and a lot of times they're not and it's it's very frustrating when you want to present results and you just don't have any. I was really fortunate towards the end 
that I had got to do one last trial before I had to make my scientific poster and present the symposium that we did get some preliminary results. So that was really exciting. Um, but towards the end of the summer, I did present at a uh, symposium for our cohort and I actually got asked to present my research at other conferences, which is incredible because as an undergraduate, um, you don't always get that opportunity to. Our cohort also got the opportunity to attend a national conference that was coming in that fall. Um, I got to attend AMRICAMS, which is a national science conference that happens every year. And my research program, the grant actually paid for me to attend. So that was awesome. So once the summer ended, I did get asked to return to my lab and continue doing research. And at the time, I was kind of unsure about what I wanted to do. And I, my, the grant that I did summer research with that funded my program, they were looking for peer mentors. And so instead of continuing research, I decided to work and become a peer mentor. As a peer mentor for the grant, I got to meet all kinds of STEM students who wanted to pursue research, recruit them into the summer program, and not only share my research and my experience. And through the peer mentoring job, I got to attend another national conference that the grant paid for, plus I got to attend another couple conferences and present my previous research. And I just, I'm so lucky and so thankful that I had such a great experience with my summer research program. And I highly recommend that if you're thinking about it, like go ahead and reply and see what happens. You never know.